Hey y'all, back with another video. This is the look we're gonna go for today. This is how to look natural when you are relaxed. I had a lot of ladies asking about working out, sweating, going to the gym, what styles they could do, and I was really struggling to come up with something that would work, but I think this style will work. I took advantage of the fact that I need a relaxer and I have a lot of texture at my root, and um, I thought, yeah, I can play with this, I can make it work, and I can make it practical. So, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, I'm starting with kind of damp hair. I let my hair air dry overnight so that all the texture that's at the root, I could take advantage of it. You can see. I kind of need a relaxer, which is what you want. And I just took my hands and ran it, ran them under the water and then just like wet my hair like that because I don't want it super soaking wet. And I want to keep all of that good texture at the root. So I'm going to use my wrapping foam in sections. So whatever section I'm getting ready to um, roll <laughs> with the perm rod, then I'll put some wrapping foam on that section so that I don't end up with sections that dry with the wrapping foam in it before I actually get to it to roll it up. So, let's go. you do want to be kind of you know haphazard you want the curls all over not to be too uniform but certain places like the front of my hair I know I want this curl to go back I don't want the curls to fall forward to my forehead so when I'm curling these I'm rolling them like this back and then also what I'm doing in the front because my hair is longer and there's more straight hair is I'm twirling it and then I'm putting it on the rod, making sure to get the ends in there. And then I'm rolling it down like that. So on the front, I'm gonna have a very curly um, curl, which is what I want, because I can work with that much easier than not curling it tight enough or not having a uniform enough curl in the parts of my hair that are longer and straighter. So I just wanted to point that out to you guys. to the back which obviously the back is too short to grip and roll but because I need a relaxer and it's super wavy anyway I'm gonna wet it take my wrapping foam like I normally do take my comb and comb it down and just create some just take the comb back and forth like that and create some waves in the back that will blend nicely with these curls I'm gonna sit under the dryer and then I will be back okay guys back I sat under the dryer so damn long but I think everything's dry and you want to make sure everything's dry so it's better to stay under there longer than you need to rather than to come out and the hair be wet because if it's wet it's gonna just be a mess I don't know of a way to fix it if you take the rollers out when the hair is still wet so I'm just gonna take all of these out and come back and show you how I add oil how I style it what the back looks like and how I make my edges look natural to blend in with these curls whatever are out I'm gonna show you guys 
the back so you can see how it all looks. Like I said, all I did with the back was put some wrapping foam and wave it with my comb. So I'll show you the back. And now what you wanna do is take the curls and gently separate them like that. So I'm gonna just go through. I'm taking my finger, putting it through. Taking my finger, putting it through like this and gently pull. That's it. So I'm gonna do that all over. And you're just kind of separating them so that they'll all blend together. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys a little tip. Like for instance, see this little curl here? What I did was I took it, separated them like I showed you guys, but then you take your finger, twirl it around like that. So that gave me my edges. Okay. Everybody's out. Everybody's unraveled. Now, I'm going to take some olive oil and mainly put it on my fingers, pat first, and then just kind of scrunch it in to give a little bit more shine. A wide tooth comb. You could use a pick too. And what I'm doing is I'm grabbing a chunk of hair like this. So I'm not disturbing the curl. Taking the comb, sliding it under where my fingers are, and just lifting. So see, just that much, that's it. Sliding it under, lift, that's it. So I'm gonna do it just like I do when I do my relaxed edges. Just gonna apply, you know, it there. Take my rat tail comb and just manipulate my edges. Okay, what I ended up doing was actually going back in and pulling my hands all the way through the curls. And I like this better. I think it looks fuller. I think it looks more, I don't know, like natural hair. So yeah, disregard what I said earlier about not combing all the way through. Comb through, honey, comb through. I like this better. <laughs> so yeah. Okay guys, that was it. I hope you liked this tutorial. I hope you learned something. As always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll get back to you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for subscribing. And until next time, bye.